all right what's going on everyone i'm gonna do a real quick video here i don't want to make this one long but i watched something the other day that really kind of woke me up not in the sense that everybody says oh i'm woke and all this stuff not and i don't mean it like that but i was watching this debate on um a christian guy a creationist and i was watching this other guy an evolutionist some professor and everyone on there was against this christian guy and uh what he was saying you know about creation and stuff and you know what after watching that video i have to say that here's what I am. I am someone that I do, I do believe that something, and I don't usually ever say believe, but I do believe that there is some kind of intelligence or being that made all of this and made us as humans, because there's no way that this was just an accident. There's no way, I don't care what atheists say, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not being ignorant of this because I know how easy it is to be ignorant and I know how people just splurt out stuff and they just say anything that's on their mind at that time, but I'm not just splurting this stuff out, you know, and I'm going to real quick, I'm going to. I wrote something in this notebook when I was watching this video. This guy was just saying way too many things that just could not be explained. And he was tearing this guy up. And I'm sorry to say, but he was making this guy just sound really, really stupid and unintelligent. And he's supposed to be a professor and, and all this and, you know... But let me let me read some of this, what I wrote down here, and stick with me here, because, you know what, I don't remember if I wrote it down, but you know what, I'll remember it, I'll remember it as I go here. Okay, here's what I wrote down the other day, just writing, just writing, this is what I do. Um... I don't have proof, but the most educated, logical, common sense state of mind and what you and I can interpret to be true is that there is some kind of creator or intelligent being that brought this all to be. Something cannot come from nothing and life cannot come from material things. See, life can't come from material stuff. So where did it come from in the first place? It's too, it's too advanced is the word that I don't know if I want to use advanced, but this guy said that one cell is more complicated than a ship at NASA that they build. That's how complicated one little cell is. One little organism. So where did life come from? Nobody can answer this. But boy, there is a lot of foolish answers being spread around like cancer going into people's minds. It's not common sense or educated. It is very ignorant and nonsensically uneducated and most of all foolish. Prideful men will not admit that they are wrong or have completely messed up. See, that's another thing I wrote is that these men, men are so prideful, they cannot admit when they're wrong or when they were believing wrong stuff and they were saying things that they didn't want to admit. Even if they knew they were wrong in their own head, they're going to put up this big defensive wall you know, if you tell them something and you write they're wrong, they don't want to say that you were right, someone else was right. 
That's the problem with prideful men. So, this is the problem with evolutionists, religious people, and atheists. I'm more on the side of the atheist than anybody because they admit that they don't know. And they will let their pride down. That's why I'm more on the side of an atheist. But not an evolutionist and religious people. So, alright, let me read. Let me get back where I was. Okay, because they admit that they didn't know. The atheists will admit that they didn't know and will let their pride down. But to just run to another foolish and uneducated, relit, quote, religion such as evolution is just pure ignorance on their part. But they can't admit that, see, because they think God or the Bible will get the credit. Now, what I meant by that is, I think a lot of these atheists, they don't know what else to do but say about, you know, oh, well, I don't believe in God now, so I have to believe in this other stupid foolish thing where we came from this little cell or, you know, uh, we came from the ocean and salt water and from, you know, the, the dust and the rocks and stuff and, you know. Now, I know this may sound insane to people. I, I understand all this, whoever's watching this. It says in the Bible that God, you know, brought man from the dust of the earth and he breathed the dust from the earth into his nostrils and created man. Because I can't see any other way that humans just came to be. I mean, think about this. Think about this. There's so many things that I can just absolutely, and I don't want to sound ignorant when I say this, but I can rip this apart. I can completely rip this apart. And any of you who got this far, listen to what I'm saying here. Our mothers, we come out of our mother's womb, right? We come from our mother's womb. The baby is formed in the womb. Right here is enough proof to tell you. A baby, when it comes out, it needs to be taken care of. It can't live by itself. It would die if it came out without any parents. So how were them parents formed? How was the dad and the mom formed? You see? That this is where it, it absolutely convinced me. And, and when I say convinced, I'm not saying that I'm not wrong with certain things. But this thing, it, it, it just, it can't be explained. But I know that this whole evolution thing is nonsense. And this, all this other stuff that these people were talking about, how the the earth and all this stuff is millions and billions of years old. I don't go for that. I don't go for that at all. I do not. That It's just foolish if you really, really watch these debates and what men are saying in these debates about creationists and these evolutionists. Just listen to some of the stupidity of what these evolutionists say. And I'm sorry if you're an evolutionist and, you know, whatever. Don't get all butthurt about it. But just listen to what I'm saying. A baby cannot come from nothing. It has to come from a mother. So how did a mother just all of a sudden come to be and come to grow eyes and a mouth and lips? And a nose to smell, ears to hear, breasts that have milk in them, a vagina that reproduces, uh, you know, feet that have certain bones and tendons in it and all that. And then, oh, a baby just happened to start forming in her gut. You, you see, this, this is absolute absurdity. This is absolute absurdity. You know? Look, just look back, go back, 
You cannot make life from material things. It's impossible. You cannot make life from material things. You can only make life from life. You can only make life from a, you know, a cell or an organism that's already alive. And these chemists have done that. They have done that, but they did not make something from material alone. So where did that cell and all that come from? It just couldn't have been here. You know, this, this whole thing of, oh, things were just here. You know, things were just here. You can't make something from nothing, so how did these things just get here? <laughs> okay, I said the thing about the, the baby and the mother, you know, where did the mother and the father come from in the first place? How did a penis just happen to, to come on a man's, you know, how did a man form a, a, a scrotum with balls in it and a penis and a woman just make a vagina? The penis goes in the vagina perfectly and they have sex and have a baby. This stuff is not possible. It is not possible. And then another foolish thing. We did not come from apes or monkeys. We were always humans. Monkeys do not turn into humans. Apes do not turn into humans, people. We do not turn into nothing but humans. When we have sex with a human, we turn into a human. And it's going to keep doing that for generations. Nothing is going to change. This whole evolution thing is complete bullshit get rid of it it's if it's like a religion to you get rid of it because religion's bullshit anyway religion's bullshit all religions are bullshit even most of the bible to me is bullshit you know but there is i do believe that there is something you know i'm i guess you call i guess you call me and agnostic or whatever they say you know but all that stuff but this video just absolutely convinced me and the guy's name is kent the creationist his name is kent kent something and everybody does not like this guy they talk about how cocky and arrogant and stuff he is yeah that's because he is telling you because he knows what he's talking about. Because he's telling you common sense, logical things that cannot be. And some things that, that are that, you know, these evolutionists and these other atheists, they can't say that they were wrong or they made a mistake. Now, atheists are a lot better with this. They will admit when they made a mistake or they don't know. But these evolutionists, they, they won't admit when, when they thought something that was totally ridiculous or something because they don't want to give God the credit for anything. See, now I'm not saying for every one of them. I'm not saying for every one of them. But that's why I wrote at the end here. They can't admit that because that because they think god quote god or the bible will get the credit see they can't admit that they're wrong and messed up about something because then that disproves their evolution theory and see they can't have that they can't have that they can't let go of their religion so to speak so you know i'm past the point i'm past the point if i'm not even saying this anymore if i offend you then good. If I offend you, good. Because guess what? I had to be offended many times with this because there was times where I was almost believing this nonsense and I was almost going for some of these things like the earth was billions of years old and uh, there was ape men that turned into men and <laughs> It's just, it's so ridiculous. It's so ignorant and uneducated. It's just crazy. And then I know if some uh, 
evolutionist atheists watch this, they'll be writing me some kind of comment about how stupid and dumb I am. But the things that I said, you can't get past. You can't get past the baby thing where, 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 if there was a baby that came about, how did that baby take care of itself? If it evolved, like you say, how did it just come to be a little baby and all this? Where was it at? It wasn't in the mother's womb. Now, now they'll tell, they'll, they'll, I guess they'll say, oh, well, the mother came from well where did the mother come from the mother was a baby one time so how did the mother come to be and see this is where it, it's there's no way that anyone can answer this because when a baby comes out of a mother's womb they cannot take care of themselves they can't do it so that means that from the very beginning person how did that person come to be? There's no way they could have took care of themselves because there wouldn't have been a parent. There wouldn't have been a mother or a father there. And then this thing that we came from apes and monkeys. Apes and monkeys have not changed since man has seen them in jungles and stuff. And men have always looked the same. When you go back to the pictures, <clears throat> hundreds of years ago or paintings from hundreds of years ago or sculptures we are humans we have the same nose the same eyes the same everything nothing has changed somebody might have some kind of genetic disorder like these dudes that grow all this hair on their face and they call them ape man or monkey man or whatever but that's just a genetic disposition to where they had something in their genes that made them grow more hair. They're still human. They still have a nose and eyes and all that. You know, it, it's just crazy. But I had to do this video because I told you when you, when you are seeking knowledge and you're seeking out the truth, you will stumble upon things, see if you're this prideful man or woman, and you stay stuck in what you think is, you know, real and what you believe in all this, then you're just going to stay stuck. You're not going to get nowhere. And I'm constantly trying to learn and figure things out. And when I watched this, it just, it, it took the veil off of, a blockage that I had for a while but now I just I just can't help but to say there is no way that I cannot say that there is something there's just no way that there can't be because how in the hell were we made you know, it just, it, it just, there's no way all this just came to be. And yet again, I'll go back to the first human that came about. How in the world did that human, if it was a little tiny thing, like when a baby comes in a, in a woman's, you know, wherever in a woman, they're this little tiny cell or something, and then it turns into a little embryo and all this. Well, where was that embryo to begin with? If there wasn't no mother or father, where was the embryo? And then where did, if the mother or the father was there, where did they come from? It doesn't make any sense. It can't happen. It cannot happen. This is one thing that absolutely convinced me that everything is bullshit. Evolution's bullshit religions bullshit all that stuff is bullshit there's something we just don't know what it is we don't know what it is and see i think that these atheists a lot of these atheists i'm more on the side of the atheists but a lot of them do not want to admit that they really don't know nothing like 
Like, it's like they have to go from not believing in God to something else to fill that gap. And see, I don't do that. I don't fill the gap with nothing else. I go by common sense and just things that cannot be or can be. I go by them things. I go with the, with the logic, the logical answer, you know. So I'm going to be doing more videos on this because this really just, this really, uh, it, it just made me see something that, that I didn't see before with the whole, you know, with the whole, where did the mother and the father come from? And if there, if we were babies and stuff, you know. There's just way too much stuff that these men and women cannot explain away, and they're 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 they they think that they're educated, they think that they're smart, and they think that they have the answers and they know, and they don't. It's kind of like you know I hate to use this, but it's kind of like those who profess to be wise are fools. That's how I see it. Those who profess or claim to be wise, they are complete fools. And you know what? That is, it's completely true. Because these guys that call themselves professors and these women that call themselves, you know, professors and uh, chemists and all this stuff, you know, yeah, you might know about that, but otherwise you're, you're ignorant. You're, you're just, you're uneducated and ignorant and you're stupid for real. So whatever it's whatever so i'll be doing more videos on this but thanks for watching